recently, uh, I went to Jerry's Artorama. That was like my Valentine's treat. If you guys know me at all, that was a good Valentine's treat because I love art supply stores. Love, love, love. And while I was there, I was looking for acetate and vellum, and I found those. But I also found some other things. I found um, this Borden and Riley uh, architect, engineer, illustrator sketch paper, and it's sun glow. And it promises that it's so transparent, you could even place three or four sheets over your original drawing and still read the detail underneath. So this is like thumbnail sketch paper. Um, now, in my process, I usually... Uh, uh, you do like the digital equivalent of this. So I don't really, for how I make comics, I don't need this. But I've been playing around with translucent and transparent papers with different markers. So I thought it would be cool to try this out. And it was $6 for six inches by 50 yards. And 50 yards is a lot. So I might, depending on how I feel about this, I mean, unless I'm just like in love with it, I'll probably end up sending some of this paper to some of my art friends and see what they do with it. Um, so that's the Borden and Riley Sun Glow. And I also found um, Canson Translucent Sketch Paper. And it says it's suitable for a pencil and pen. It has a smooth surface. It erases cleanly and it's acid free. Um, and it's eight, 18 pound paper, which means it's pretty thin. It, I think copier paper is like 20 pound paper. So this is even thinner than copier paper. And this is, let's see, eight, wow. This is eight pound paper. Can you imagine how thin that is? Um, and I wanted to use these for my marker and paper tests. Now, I've done vellum, I've done Yupo, I've done some marker papers I'm trying to work my way through. Um, I did tracing paper, so I thought, why not? I mean, they're not designed for markers, but neither is tracing paper, and it worked out pretty well. Um, so, uh, I also thought it was kind of neat. I don't normally buy my paper in rolls. Uh, I have a cat. He destroys everything. So, it's better if I don't have to cut things. Um, it's better if they're in pads. But, you know, why not? This might end up being really useful. I'm going to need a couple of rubber bands. Already, it kind of looks like toilet paper. But that's not... What is going to get used for? And let's, oh, okay. So it is very thin, but I think it is a little thicker than tracing paper, but it's very similar to tracing paper. And that's the Borden and Riley Sun Glow paper. This is the Canson paper. And yeah, I'm aware that Borden and Riley and Canson both make marker papers. I use Borden and Riley's marker paper sometimes. I like it. Um, I just wanted, you know, I'm like trying to find things artists and crafters wouldn't necessarily use their markers with. And then testing markers with them. So there's tape holding this down and I'm a cheapie. And I'm going to try and very carefully remove the tape so I don't waste paper, but I might not succeed. Alright, careful, 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 careful. Ah, oh, yes! <laughs> now this is less like tracing paper. It's like butcher's paper, kind of. That's cool. I guess they both are like tracing paper. They're just not labeled as tracing paper. They're labeled as drawing paper. And I guess drawing paper is technically, or tracing paper is technically a drawing paper because it's meant to be overlaid and then you draw on top of it. <sighs> but, um, that's cool. Uh, I look forward to exploring these papers with you guys. Um, I'm gonna have to get like some rubber bands to keep them from going all over the place getting batted about my studio by an obnoxious cat. Um, and I think that's probably about it for right now. I'll check in with you guys a little bit later um, so we can see how these work. I hope you guys have a great day. I'm not sure if this video is going to be stitched in with another video, so I'll do my sign off and you guys might have to endure hearing my sign off twice. I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, if you like this, please consider subscribing to the channel. 
please leave a like. Please leave a comment. Um, if you have any suggestions, questions, or comments, leave them in my comment section or send me an email. If it's of a sensitive nature and you don't want to blurt it out for everybody to see. Um, and if you want more great content like this, please back my Patreon, which is now live and totally accepting of your monies. So have a great day again. Bye, guys.